Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and manage scoop tags in Microsoft Intune. Scoop tags can be applied to different objects on Azure and Intune. For example, a Windows 10 device. The tag is essentially a unique identifier which we then use to link with scopes. A objects can have multiple scope tags and a scope can have a multiple scope tags link with it. When we create Intune policies and after we add settings, we can also add a scope tag to the profile. Scope tags are used to assign and filter policies to specific groups such as your marketing team or sales team. We can also use scope tags to provide admins with the right level of access and visibility to objects in Intune. In this scenario, we would combine role-based access control and scope tags. Rules determine what access admins have to which objects. Scope tags determine which objects admin can see. Scope tag is one of the component in role-based access control. I won't cover role-based access control in detail in this video, but it is important to know it is there. We will have a dedicated full video on how to implement role-based access control in Intune. We can use role-based access control and scope tags to make sure that the right admins have the right access and visibility to the right Intune objects. For example, let's say a Delhi branch office admin has the policy and profile manager role. You want this admin to see and manage only the profiles and policies that only applies to Delhi devices. To set up this access, we have to create a scope tag called Delhi office and then create a role assignment for the policy and profile manager role. We also need to set up scope groups with the assignment. That we will see in another video. In this video, we only want to work with scope tags. To create, edit or assign scope tag, your account must have global administrator or Intune service administrator permissions. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Tenant Administration. Click on Roles. Under Manage, click on Scope Tags. The default scope tag is automatically added to all untag objects that support scope tags. So basically, by default, all Intune resource objects get automatically assigned to this built-in scope tag. Every object in Intune needs to have at least one scope tag assigned. First, we will create a scope tag in our environment. Click on Create plus icon. On the Basics page, enter a name and description for this new scope tag. Here, I am giving name Delhi BO for Delhi Branch Office. I am also adding description. All the devices from Delhi Branch Office will be assigned with this scope tag. Then click Next. There are two ways to assign scope tag to the objects in Intune. One is manually and second is automatically using this assignment option. In this video, we will see both options for scope tag assignment. On the assignments page, choose the groups containing the devices that you want to assign to this scope tag. This will automatically assign the Delhi BO scope tag to all the members of the selected group. I have created two groups for our Delhi branch office. All the users from the Delhi branch office 
are added to the Delhi BO users group and all the devices from the Delhi branch office are added to the Delhi BO devices group. Here we will only select our device group Delhi BO devices. Click on add groups and from the list select Delhi BO devices group. Click on select. Make sure Delhi BO devices group is selected. Click next to continue. On the review plus create page, click on create. There will be two notification messages. Scope tag is created successfully and scope tag is assigned successfully. We can see Delhi BO scope tag is listed under scope tag. This will take some time to assign scope tag to Intune resource objects. Let's check the scope tag for Delhi Office devices. Click on Groups. Click on Delhi Branch Office Devices Group. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see Lab Win 10 CLI02 is listed as a member of this group. So as per our configuration, Delhi BO scope tag will be automatically assigned to this Windows 10 device. Let's check that. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And then click on Lab Win 10 CLI02. Under Manage, click on Properties. Click on Open. We can see still default scope tag is selected for device lab win 10 hyphen CLI 02. So let me close this and let's uh, refresh the web page. And after refresh, uh, we will again check the scope tag for device lab win 10 hyphen CLI 02. Uh, let me again click on open. And this time we can see the Delhi BO scope tag is assigned to a Windows 10 device LabWin 10 CLI02. We can also manually assign scope tag to Intune objects. Let's manually assign scope tag to a Windows 10 device. Uh, let me close this. Uh, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And this time we will click on LabWin 10 CLI01. Under Manage, click on Properties, click on Open and as we can see currently default scope is selected for our this Windows 10 device. So from the list select scope tag which you want to assign to this device. Here we will select Mumbai HO scope tag. So let me click on Mumbai HO and we also want to remove default scope tag from this Windows 10 device. So click on remove for default. Okay, so we have only Mumbai at your scope tag for this Windows 10 device. Click on select and then click on save to update the scope tag for this Windows 10 device. Here we have the confirmation message. Let me again click on open. We have Mumbai at your scope tag assigned for labwin 10 hyphen CLI01 device. So this is how we can manually assign scope tag to Intune objects. And using the same method, you can also remove this scope tag. You just need to click on remove option and save the changes. Remember, autoscope tags assignments will overwrite manually assigned scope tags. If a device is assigned multiple scope tags through group assignment, all scope tags will apply. Once you have created one or more scope tags, you can add them to your device configuration profile or device compliance policy. Let's add our Delhi BO scope tag to our existing configuration profile. Let me click on all devices. Under policy, click on configuration profiles. On device configuration page, choose your existing profile. We have created one configuration profile for all devices from Delhi branch office. Click on Delhi BO device configuration profile. 
First, I'm going to click on Edit Assignments. And here we will include our device group, which is Delhi Bio Devices. Select it. I click on Review plus Save and click on Save. Next, we will select the scope tag as well. Click on Edit for scope tags. Click on Edit. As you can see, default scope tag is already selected. Let me click on select scope tags. And from the list, we'll select Delhi Bio scope tag. Click on select. Click on review plus save. And click on save. We can see the confirmation message. Policy Delhi Bio device configuration profile edited successfully. The Indian service admins and global admins rules have full admin access to all the Intune feature, regardless of what scope tags have been configured for that object. Scope tag is not a way to filter which end user or device gets a policy, profile or app through assignments. Scope tag is a way to tag a resource object. Once tagged, we can define which admin can see that object in Intune. This is done by assigning the scope tag to a scope. Add that scope to a role and assign that role to a specific Azure Active Directory group. So this is how we can create a scope tag in Intune and by using automatic assignment or manual assignment, we can assign scope tag to Intune object. We have also seen the steps to add scope tag in configuration profile. That concludes the video on how to create and manage scope tags in Microsoft Intune using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.